Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your May the 7th just for today in a meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. The title of the meditation for today is Turning Turmoil into Peace. Turning Turmoil into Peace. With the world in such a turmoil, I feel I have been blessed to be where I am. That comes from the basic text, page 145. Some days, it doesn't pay to turn on the news. We hear so many stories about violence and mayhem. When we used, many of us grew accustomed to violence. Through the fog of our addiction, we rarely got too disturbed by the state of the world. When we are clean, however, many of us find we are particularly sensitive to the world around us. As recovering people, what can we do to make it a better place? When we find ourselves disturbed by the turmoil of our world, we can find comfort in prayer and meditation. When it seems like everything is turned upside down, our contact with our higher power can be our calm in the midst of any storm. When we are centered on our spiritual path, we can respond to our fears with peace. And by living peaceably ourselves, we invite a spirit, a spirit of peace to enter our world. As recovering people, we can affect positive change by doing our best to practice the principles of our program. Just for today, I will enhance peace in the world by living, speaking, and acting peacefully in my own life. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to do, to accept, not to do, to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. I sort of chuckle at that. Uh, I said, I started to say to do the thing. And then I said, no, not that. But in reality, isn't that what this is about? Finding the courage to change the things that we can, to actually act, to do something about the situations that we can. So I recant because we do need the courage to do those things that we can change, right? Um so much of today, we're in that mode of doing and getting that it almost becomes something negative to be a person that's a doer. And I'm just saying that it's okay to be a person that is about change and willing to do what's your responsibility to do. And doing it in a manner that looks like recovery today. I think that's beautiful. Okay, we're talking about turmoil, turning turmoil into peace. And as many of you know, if you turn on your television for, do they still call them televisions? <laughs> if you turn on your television just for a moment, there is so much mayhem all over the world, so much threat of war, um, threat of uh, taking guns away, threat of paying more taxes, having more auditors available to look at our taxes. There's so much that goes on, school shootings, not even school shootings anymore, just 
uh, medical building shootings, uh, train station shootings. There's so much. And it's easy for us to become overwhelmed because we're coming out of a place where we didn't really contribute in a positive way to society. We knew what violence was like. It probably occurred for the majority of us. It was something that we may have seen daily or participated in. And somehow when we get clean, our hearts change. Our perception is changing. Not somehow, it's changing because we're no longer using. We don't have those mind mood altering substances in our system anymore. I mean, intentionally with the point of recreation, right? Some of us take medications, right? That are prescribed to us, but even those don't put us in the frame of mind where nothing around us matters. I hope not. But today we're different and those things all matter to us. We find that many of us, we're overly sensitive to everything around us. And people will tell you, you have certainly changed. You have something to say now about everything. Well, you know what? I probably had something to say back then when I was using, but I was so caught up in how I was going to come across, what it was going to sound like, if I was going to be rejected or accepted. Um, I was so caught up and consumed with self-obsession I probably just chose to use instead of speaking up. But yeah, that that's a hot topic with me. That's a hot topic. I am concerned about that. And I do feel I need to speak up. We enhance the world around us when we are able to approach or engage in a peaceable manner. Living life and speaking up and acting peacefully is something we have a choice about today. And I encourage you, no matter what goes down today or tomorrow or ever, if you're an individual in recovery, you have the tools to help yourself, <laughs> right? We have tools to help us be less anxious, less angry, less peaceable. We have these tools. And a lot of times, because the peace can come through prayer and meditation, for non-religious folk, that might be a turnoff, but it's something that the whole world can access regardless to their God. It's not indicative that we're talking about a God when we're talking about praying and meditating. For many, it is but it doesn't necessarily have to be so. I know very, uh, I would say a lot of secular individuals, but I know a few in the program. In their lives, they have meditation. They have moments of quiet, <laughs> if you will. Becoming one with nature, taking camping trips, right? They have things that they do that bring them peace and calm. And the end result is what really truly mattered. At the end of the day, am I a much more peaceful individual? At the end of the day, do I not want to use or am I still suffering with the obsession and compulsion? Because using these tools in this program, there's a natural course that follows may not always look the same for everyone, but believe me, it's very similar. And one of them is we become productive members of society and we stop doing the things that took away from the well-being of all of the societies we're involved in, our home, our jobs, the society that we move about in getting to and from one destination to another, our cities, our states, our countries. These are all various societies that we are a part of. And as a result, 
of recovery today, I add to the well-being of those societies. I don't take away. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. Hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to talk to you soon.